Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and today we're going to be looking at some Ledo and Corgi die cast models from my collection. This is the second video, um, I did one previously, I'll put a link in the description so you can check that out if you haven't seen it yet. Okay, so we've got various uh, model cars and brands, so let's uh, start with the first one. And this is uh, Morrison's trailer. Now, these ones you could actually buy from Morrison's. And um, it features the old logo because they've seen, since changed it to the um, uh, wheat uh, logo, which is far better than that sort of simple one that they use. Which looks like someone just uh, quickly designed it and no doubt got paid loads of money for it. But the new one is definitely a lot better. Uh, so obviously this is uh, a scale model of their um, uh, trucks that deliver the uh, food uh, to um, the stores. And you see it's got friction power, push and go, a tilting cab at uh, the front, a detachable trailer, and also opening doors as well, uh, which... Yeah, you can just about open it a bit even though it's in the packaging and um, this one uh, doesn't play any sounds or anything have any um, functions like that but our next one does because also Morrison's this is a model of their um, uh, home delivery vans I um, also bought this one in Morrison's as well and as you can see at the top it's got uh, a sound effect so good one for um, children to play with and uh, recreate um, uh, playing in the supermarket because uh, Morrison's did actually sell uh, Christmas some um, uh, like shopping teals and stuff with uh, food uh, packaging and that that people could um, uh, buy for their children to um, use and recreate the shopping experience uh, and it's a nice uh, detailed model as well one of their many pictures that they have on the side of their vans as you see the doors open as well Moving on to uh, some Ledo ones now. These are a part of their Days Gone um, collection. This one is for uh, British Meat. Um, and I don't know if you can see the detail on there. But it's actually uh, from Smithfield, the famous uh, Smithfield uh, Market. And it also actually says on it about 12 miles per hour. So it's like it's got a speed limit on the actual uh, vehicle. Um, and this is a, a Model T Ford van, uh, 1920. And this actual model of the uh, Ledo replica was released in 1983. Now we have um, an express dairy horse and cart um, and what's interesting about this one I don't know if you can see at the back it's got some figures that come with it as well which is uh, uh, adds an extra touch if I turn it around you've seen them a bit better I mean it's nice to have a horse and cart as well um, and so this is Apart from the uh, of the days gone by um, collection, okay, and this was released some time round about at the same time, 1985, um, as the previous one. Now we have a Sharps uh, Super Creme Toffee. 
and um, this uh, brand I didn't know much about um, the toffee but apparently um, it was established in 1878 uh, and then the brand was bought by um, Cadbury's in 1989 and was sadly discontinued in 1998 um, I'm sure there's some uh, packaging like some tins of it somewhere I'd love to uh, get hold of some of them um, if you've seen any videos on my channel about my um, memorabilia and that of tins and packaging you'll know that I'm a big fan of collecting things like that so that's something I'll have to look out for um, and this is um, a Chevrolet van and um, it was released in 1989 now we have another uh, horse and cart one on this one and this is for Vaux beers I hope that's pronounced uh, correctly um, and they were founded, I didn't know much about this company either they were founded in 1806 uh, in Sunderland um, which is like the north of England and um, sadly discontinued in 2000 uh, and Ledo released this in 2005 and you got a nice uh, horse pulling the cart there with some barrels uh, and someone sitting on their top there and I like the nice detailing on the wheels as well now this is a, a celebration one uh, this is for the 13th Commonwealth Games in Scotland in 1986 um, and again this was released by Ledo um, and it's a 1936 Packard delivery van um, and what I like is very clever is the use of the Scottish logo which makes X in Roman numerals is 10 and then you've got the three lines to make the 13 so that's a very clever uh, design of logo, got a spare wheel on there so I really like that now we move on to uh, some Walker's Crisps one now, and there's quite a few of these, I've got some from my, in my other collection that I showed on my video um, and there's quite a lot of different variations of Walker's Crisps vehicles as you'll see in this video um, as well um, and this one uh, was released uh, by Ledo in 1990 and it's a Dennis parcel van and I like the colour scheme on this one you see it says potato crisps there and it's got the uh, address there as well Barkby Road in Leicester there's Walker's Best Quality. And like I said, there are quite a few Walker's Crisp designs. This being another one of them. All I like about this one is it's got like, the uh, retail boxes of crisps that would be delivered to the individual stores. And this one was also released by Ledo as well, I'm not sure of the date but it's probably around about a uh, similar time uh, I'm not sure of the type of vehicle either um, some of them actually mention it on the side of the box but it doesn't on this one okay, this one is uh, a technical service van, I don't know much about that company um, it was released by Ledo and it's a 1950 uh, Morris um, Z van it's got the technical service logo on there now we have a very retro one although Spam's made a big comeback uh, recently and now um, 
you can get um, various different um, uh, spam with like spices in and with bacon and various different uh, variations now on its original uh, format. Uh, interesting thing about spam, the actual name uh, is a combination of um, shoulder, pork and ham, which is uh, what it's made of. So the SP representing the shoulder pork uh, and then the AM representing the ham. So it's a clever uh, use of a name, it's a combination of what's in it. Uh, and this is again the release by Ledo on their Days Gone uh, By uh, branding. And um, it's a Ford Model T van. And it's released in 2000, this one. Now we have a kiwi, not the bird or the fruit. Um, this is actually uh, for kiwi shoe polish, uh, which you can still buy today. And um, it was released by Ledo. And uh, I'm not sure if the date it was released, but it's a 1926 ball nose Morris fan. Again, I like the colour scheme on this one. A nice uh, light blue. You can see it says boot polish on there, Kiwi boot polish. Not sure when they started, but I think they're a company that's been going for quite a long time. Now we have uh, Dennis the Menace and Nasha uh, car. This was under the Ledo Junior brand, in which I don't have many of that, so I uh, will need to look out for some more of them. It's got the famous Dennis the Menace logo and Dennis the Menace and uh, Nasha getting up to all sorts of antics there. Um, and you see also the Beano logo there. Um, and if you like uh, Dennis the Menace and the Beano, um, the previous video I did about 90s nostalgia, uh, you'll see me uh, talk about uh, the Beano and Dennis in that. So take a look at that. I'll put a link in the description. Um, if that's something um, you want a taste of 90s nostalgia. Okay, and this one is uh, a 1934 Chevrolet delivery van. And as uh, so it features the classic Dennis the Menace logo and characters. So we have another famous company now, which still goes today, BP, um, the famous um, petrol company, uh, BP Motor Spirit Car, uh, and this one is uh, a Corgi, this is released by Corgi, um, Motoring Memories, um, and it's released in 2000. Um, I don't have a lot of uh, Corgi vehicles, there are many Ledo ones, but they're just as nicely designed as the Ledo ones. Um, in the previous video um, I did on my diecast uh, models, I did talk about a Ledo and Corgi and their formation and that, so uh, you can also um, learn a bit about them in that video. Next one, again, another famous. Uh, Company still go today, Royal Mail. Well, we would be without them. Um, and this is a Royal Mail van again, released by Corgi. Um, and this was released in 1997. And like the Walkers ones, there's a lot of Royal Mail uh, different variations and designs that they released over the year. It's got um, uh, the famous uh, Royal Crest there. Um, and it also says on it, um, uh, less telephoning, please. I can't quite see that through, through the uh, viewfinder, but um, that's what it says. Um, and this one, um, I'm not too sure on the type of vehicle, so maybe someone could uh, let me know in the comments. So if you're enjoying these little look at, at my collection, 
Okay, so now our next one is another Walker's Crisps one. Um, and this one is uh, released by was released by Ledo. It's a 1930 Ford uh, state truck. And um, what's interesting about this one is the uh, sort of bottles in the uh, back of the trailer. I wondered how that related to Walker's Crisps. See, it's got established 1820 there. And uh, it's got uh, Walker's Crisps on there. Nice colour on this one as well. And I'm not sure on the uh, vehicle type on this one. Oh yeah, it was a uh, 1934 estate truck. Yep, yeah, that's right. Okay. And again, staying with Walker's Crisps. And we have another Walker's Crisps one. Uh, this is a Walker's Crisps tanker released by Ledo uh, in 1988. And it's a 1920 uh, Ford Model T um, tanker. So it's got the uh, different Walker's Crisp logo there. Now these next few are on the popular uh, long running soap Coronation Street. Uh, most of these released around about 94, 90, um, and they feature different um, uh, companies that were on the show. Now this first one is um, a double decker bus and released by Ledo and it's actually a carrier E6 trolley bus 1928 and Ledo released this in 1994. So it's nice to have a, a bus because I don't have many of them. And on the back of uh, each one it tells you a bit about uh, Coronation Street and obviously how long it's been going for. As it first transmitted on December the 9th in 1960. If I remember rightly it was originally um, going to be called something else. Rosamond Street or something, something like that. I'm sure I remember something like that. And it's got on the bus Miami uh, modes. And obviously I'm sure that's something to do with um, uh, a company that was in Coronation Street. Um, as you'll see, you might recognise some of the other ones. As a long term Coronation Street fans will probably recognise this one. So this is um, Fairclough and Booth Builders. Uh, it's a 1939 blue Ford truck. Uh, released around about the same time, 1994. Um, and I do remember, I don't remember much about the characters, but I do remember the builders being in it when I used to watch Coronation Street. I don't watch it now, but um, I do remember um, uh, them being in it. Uh, and it's a nice uh, different style of truck uh, with their name on the side. So the next Coronation Street one that we have. Now this is an interesting one. This is a Vote for Swinley car. Again released by uh, Ledo. And it's a Morris uh, Traveller van, 1960. And Ledo released this one in 1995. So I'm guessing that was for some um, maybe councillor or politician at the time storyline they were doing. Um, I don't remember the character of uh, Swindley. Maybe someone remembers and uh, can tell me in the comments. It's got that um, sort of wooden frame that some cars had at the time. Yeah, so that's an interesting one. A couple more Coronation Street ones now. Um, and this one is um, Gamma Garments car. Uh, again, released by Ledo. It's a Morris Head van from 1950. 
and Ledo released this in 1994. It's got the Gama Garments uh, logo on there. I don't really remember that in the show either, so I'm not sure if that was because uh, I watched the show more or less in the 90s, so I don't know if it's an older one. It was in like the 70s or 80s or earlier. I mean, it's nice in each of these. You've got the Rover's Return uh, logo and pub in the background of the box. Gives it extra um, uh, addition to it. Last Coronation Street one, and probably the most famous of all, talking about the pub, you got Newton and Ridley, uh, which of course is the uh, brewers and owners of the Rover's Return. Um, and this one is a horse and cart, as you can see. Uh, two horses on those ones, actually, on this one. And um, this one was released in 1997 by um, Ledo. And you've got some barrels of beer on there. Uh, now we have um, Daymart. Um, Firma Lactual Van, I hope I said that right. Um, released by Ledo. And it's a model Ford A van. Um, and I didn't know much about this company, Daymark, but apparently they're um, a French company that uh, specialises in underwear. Um, and um, they started in 1953, and apparently are still going to this day, so uh, that's good. And this is under the Ledo Promo Motors uh, range. And... Um, Got the Daymart logo there. Now these next two are under their um, the EastEnders collection. Um, this is a Dairy Farm one. Dairy Farm van. Uh, it's a Morris van, and Ledo released this in 1988. And the idea was to um, sort of celebrate uh, brands and companies that would have been round about uh, that time in the 1900s, it says there on the um, bottom. And this is Dairy Farm Rich Clean Milk. And then the next EastEnders one. Uh, this one is a uh, Feos Ring and Sun removals van released by Ledo in 1988. Now, what's interesting about this one is I've seen online that this exact vehicle, and as you see, it's drawn by um, horses, um, is actually released in Darling Buds of May packaging. A Darling Buds of May being a popular. Uh, 90s uh, TV series starring David Jason um, as Pop Larkin. So, was this um, a company that was actually in the Darling Buds of May? Uh, because why else would it also feature in that packaging as well? I can't find much out about it, but if anyone knows, let me know in the comments. Okay, last few now. Okay, now this one is uh, another celebration one. Uh, now this one is to celebrate the International Garden Festival in Liverpool in 1984. And it's an official souvenir that Ledo uh, released uh, in 1984. And it's a 1920 Ford Model T van. And as you can see, it runs from the 2nd of May to the 14th of October in Liverpool. Um, I wonder what it was like. Did anyone go? Uh, did anyone get any souvenirs from it? Indeed, do they still do it in Liverpool? Have they done it since? It would be interesting to know. Now, we go to Yorkshire for the next one. Yorkshire Biscuits fan. Uh, this is a 1920 
uh, Model T van and Ledo released it in 1985 um, I don't know much about the Yorkshire Biscuits uh, brand if they still go or when they started and like one of the other ones it's got some figures in the back which is good as well, a nice addition Now we have another famous brand, Kodak, famous for uh, disposable cameras and this was uh, released by Ledo and it is a 1959 Morris LD150 van uh, in a striking yellow with the uh, famous red Kodak logo that hasn't actually changed a lot and this is under their days gone by all uh, days gone um, branding now we have rally cycles which I think they still make cycles to this day um, and this is a rally cycles car released by Ledo and it's a 1934 model A Ford car and a striking green with the rally Cycles um, branding on the side there, and again, that's under the Ledo Days Gone branding. And the last one we have is a Salvation Army van uh, from Ledo, and um, it has on the corner there, I don't know if you can see it but it's got a famous uh, Second World War poster there about Care's Talk costs lives if you just make that out so that's um, an interesting addition to the van of course the Salvation Army still doing great work to this day and of course it's got a mobile canteen on there on the side um, and I'm not sure on the type of van on this one or when it was released but um, I'd say it's probably released sometime in the late 90s it's got nice uh, detailing on there so that's the collection I hope you enjoyed that little look back like I say there is a previous video I'll put a link in the description if you haven't seen it uh, feel free to comment about any of the vehicles featured and um, do you have any of them and um, what are your memories of the brands featured and the cars and um, uh, do please uh, subscribe if you haven't done already uh, thank you to everyone that has and ring that bell for notifications please like the video so other people can see it and uh, I'll see you again in another video very soon uh, thank you for watching, uh, enjoy the rest of your day and bye for now.